What's up, everybody? Welcome back. I'm Abe. This is Eve Online, and let's talk about skills some more, and more specifically, what influences the rate at which you gain skill points, right? So if I'm looking over here, and you can, you're probably looking at my skills and saying, man, you still haven't gotten Capacitor Management 5, or some of these other skills. No, I haven't, and I'm, I'm learning, and I am, will be the first to tell you that I am not an expert at this. But, um, but yeah, so as, as we go and as, as I learn, I'm hopefully helping people not make the same mistakes I made. But let's talk about attributes. So if we look at, <clears throat> I don't know, we've got engineering skills up right now. And let's say we're working on power grid management five or just power grid management and a number of other engineering skills. You will see if you click under attributes that there is a primary attribute and a secondary attribute. And so intelligence and memory impact what the rate is that I gain skills while training that particular skill. Okay, so if I click under character and then look at attributes here, we can then look at how high my intelligence is. It's the lowest I've got. And my secondary attribute, which is memory, also my lowest uh, level. So, okay, so if I were to remap or get some uh, some implants, I could raise my memory, raise my intelligence, and increase the speed at which I would train power grid management and likely other skills in that area, right? So um, just because it's in engineering, a lot of times there's overlap. So energy grid, intelligence and memory, uh, CPU, intelligence and memory, electronics upgrades, intelligence and memory, and so on and so forth. So advanced weapon upgrades. Now this, weapons and things to do with weapons, is more perception. So weapon upgrades is perception and memory. Advanced at weapon upgrades is perception and willpower. So on one hand, it's good to pay attention to this. If you have a plan for yourself like we've talked about and this is sort of my plan right now but um, if you have a plan for yourself either as an alpha or an omega and you've written it down somewhere um, there are little programs that you can get that will help you sort of lay out what attributes you need and what attributes you should be focused on so you can remap and you can buy your implants accordingly so uh, the, the program that I've seen, and I don't think I have it set up here that I can share it uh, effectively on the screen, but it's called EVEMON. So uh, I'll type it, yeah, it's probably too small for you to see it, but E-V-E-M-O-N, and I'll put a link in the description if I can remember, and I'm writing myself a note here as I, as I talk, but yeah, if you can, if you can look up EVEMON, you can set up skill plans for yourself and then have it tell you or recommend where your remap points should be like where in time after three months then you want to remap to this once you get into these skills so it sort of makes sense to emphasize and to focus groups of skills that share certain attribute requirements into your training ritual so your your training plan will should to be most effective and quickest focus on, I don't know, if you're training up your weapon skills, for example, then maybe you should make sure that your perception, as I do, um, is the highest, that your willpower is the second highest, and and you should train like that accordingly. So I've got a whole bunch of artillery skills, and you can see perception, willpower, gunnery is perception, willpower, uh, and so on and so forth. Um, and so if I grouped a bunch of those together, and then focused my my remap on perception and willpower like you can see that I did there made sure that I bought the right augmentations oh it looks like I I was stupid okay well let's get into the correct clone and uh, right I need to be in a capsule that's right but anyway um, it's you you should have the the right augmentations you should have the right mapping and you know you should be good to um, sort of manage intelligently what your 
what your attributes are per your skill plan. So come on, just jump into there, skill up faster. So I've got plus four implants in, in this particular clone. I don't take it with me when I go and I think I'm going to die because, you know, plus four implants aren't cheap. They're not, I guess if you're making a lot of money, they're not, they're not terribly expensive. But 120 million for a set of five is usually 125, somewhere in there. Um, usually how much it'll run you. But it speeds things up significantly. So, um, so yeah, so things to be aware of is as you set your plan, open up Evemon, lay it out in Evemon, and you can pick them all and sort of lay them out one by one. Group them into uh, groups that make sense based on what attributes are needed. And and then let it tell you where it thinks you know you're, you ought to remap. And it'll, it'll probably tell you right at the end of your... Um, right at the end of where you're changing from perception and willpower to intelligence and memory, for example, skills, it'll probably say, hey, you should probably remap right there and change your allocation of attributes to this, right? So let it help you and guide you and, and help you sort of organize your, uh, your skill plan. It won't tell you where and how to group your skills. You should, you should do that on your own. So if you have a list of 50 skills that you want to level up, um, it takes it, it you'll benefit from sitting there and just sort of creating a spreadsheet on what the primary and the secondary are and then just trying to line them up in that order um, and have the end goal be the goal not like you know halfway through I want to be able to start flying this ship and and then get better at it as I go along no I would wait I would just set it all up you can save yourself weeks if not months worth of training time if you set it up properly remap properly, use the proper implants and everything, and so on and so forth. So, things to keep in mind as you lay out your plan. Use Evemon to help you figure out how to remap and uh, make sure that your attributes are as high as humanly possible. Sometimes the events that they have will drop these little accelerators which for 24 hours will boost your your attributes by 10. Um, and those are those are those are something to keep an eye out. I don't know if they're worth what people sell them for on the market, but regardless, um, it is a tool. So with that, I think I will end this particular video, but thank you for joining me here. If you have questions, hit me up in the comments. I'd love to answer them either directly or I can make a video to answer the question as well if it's more involved than just a, uh, a simple comment question or comment answer can be provided. Um, you can find me and support me over on Twitch at Vinces, and you can do the same on YouTube uh, at Vinces Gaming. Uh, I appreciate you being here. Uh, I would love to hear and see your questions, hear about what games you're playing or what your skill plan is and what you're sort of shooting for uh, in EVE Online. And uh, yeah, please follow, please subscribe, um, and I will see you in the next video.